Hey, what's up guys? It's Zilla here. Welcome to my channel. Today guys, I'm starting this new series. I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like if you did and subscribe so you don't lose any other videos. So for today, I'm showcasing my class setup. Uh, it's the M4A1 and let me tell you guys, it's still one of the most consistent and used guns in Warzone. So um, about the, the attachments, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, of course, we're gonna use monolithic suppressor. It's one of the most used suppressors in this game, so you guys already know this. For the barrel, we have two options. Actually, we have the stock M16 Grenadier. I rock this one because it gives me more accuracy, more range and more control, but there's a lot of people debating about the Corvus Custom Marksman, but you guys can check the status over there. In my opinion, the stocks Grenadier, it's better. Uh, we're gonna jump right into the optic. In the optic, I use the Corp Combat Holocyt because I have the blue dot. But there's a couple more options that you can use, like the VLK 3x optic. It's a good one for uh, mid and long, long range fights. And there's the GI Mini Reflex. It is sick for close combat and mid range combat. Let me tell you that. Uh, after this, we have the 50 round ammo because uh, I like to have a little bit more mobility than the 60 rounds but I can easily rock the 60 rounds as well uh, for the underbarrel we have the commando foregrip so we don't lose any ADS sight so yeah it's it's the one that we use man uh, after this I rock uh, I rock ghost as you can see because uh, I always put the pistol with fully loaded and I can normally buy another another loadout so i don't mind to get ghost first but it's up to you guys if you like to to have overkill first you can just rock an smg such as mp7 or mp5 in in this case i have this mp7 with muzzle uh i have the monolithic suppressor uh like i was saying it's the the normal one that everyone uses man uh i use the fs recon so it gives me that extra damage range so I can have um, I can have more mid-range fights and long-range fights for the laser I have the five milliwatts laser because uh, when I'm aiming at uh, at the guys man it doesn't show the laser if you you can rock the um, the tech laser for the faster aiming downside and all that shit but in my opinion this one is the best because I, when I'm aiming downside man I don't need to to be worried about the laser showing off my position and all that shit. So yeah, this is the one that I use. For the ammo, I still have the 50 round mag. Like I was saying, I like that extra, a little extra mobility. And for the underbarrel, I have the Ranger foregrip. So it gives me more recoil control and aiming stability, allowing me as well to, f to, to have like mid and long range fights and let me tell you guys this shit is insane because i can destroy shields at long range man yeah bro it's a sick weapon man but yeah after that we rock on my perks i rock the eod because you guys probably know this but um eod is one of the most used perks or this time because everyone plays with c4 and rpgs and this allows you to take more damage with those explosion yeah you see there from non non kill street explosives and fire and yeah since everyone starts to use like c4s and rpg eod it's a perk a perk to go man after this i use ghost uh, because I, I simply want to get off radars man and don't get pushed by players with uav and all that shit man but you can always rock with overkill it depends in the way that you play you already know that and for the last i have amped for the faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed of course everyone uses amped or tracker sometimes yeah. on my lethals i have c4 <laughs> it's like everyone uses c4 right why shouldn't i use c4 and it's like it's such a an amazing weapon man because it is a, is a fast response weapon and it saved me a hundred times man i remember times where i get destroyed like 
shield crack and all that shit and C4 literally saved me bro right in front of me man for my tactical I have a stun grenade I see a lot of people playing with the art beat um, I'm not in favor of art beat because you can easily get out get out of the art beat sensor but it's up to you guys in my solos I play with art beat sensor sometimes in the beginning of the games but mid games and last games mm, not that good but yeah it's up to you guys so as you can see this is my um, my perfect loadout like I wouldn't call it perfect but yeah you guys can take your conclusions out of it you can try uh, if you try it leave a comment down below man let me know what you guys think about this video if you enjoy it leave a like and subscribe and we we'll see you in the next video peace out